Today on Wrist Beards and Gear, we shoot out a bunch of Maxon overdrives. I would like to give a huge shout out to Godlike for providing me with all of these wonderful Maxon pedals. Kevin is the man and he gives uh, Maxon pedals and provides Maxon pedals in the United States. So every, you know, Kill Switch and, and Unearth and all those guys, Kevin is responsible for all that. So Kevin, thank you very much. As far as the pedals themselves, I use them in a clean boost setting. Now you're going to hear it in a mix and then we're gonna go back through the tune with just isolated guitars. And some of them you will notice a difference, some of them you will not. Namely, the uh, the TB09 doesn't seem to do a whole lot in a clean boost setting. Now, for pedals like the ST9 Pro Plus, where it has a mid enhance, mid enhance all the way down is actually pretty muddy, so I usually have it set to nine o'clock when I'm using it in the real world. Um, and it's closest to the OD808. I didn't want to accentuate the mids unfairly, but I also didn't want to cut them unfairly either. So nine o'clock seems to have always been a happy medium. So that's where I set it with the classic setting, not the low boost and then in the nine volt setting as well. As far as the clean boost, since there's only one knob for boost, uh, it's just all the way up and everything else is pretty much straightforward. Let's get to the shootout. Hopefully you have gained some insight as to what kind of flavor of Maxon Overdrive you like. I personally like the OD808 and the ST9 Pro Plus the most. Uh, the ST9 Pro Plus is probably one of my favorite overdrives of all time, but all of them definitely have their own flavor. But for the metal, uh, the green and red guys are just the way to go. Uh, the uh, OD820 is also an interesting choice for the heavy chugs as well. You've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.